Hey guys, it's City Ideas here, and I'm going to show you how to get every character and map in Towerfall Ascension and Towerfall The Dark World, which is the DLC. A lot of people were asking me this, so here it is. And I'm going to go start off with how to do all the maps. To unlock the map Tower Forge, you will need to complete every map that you start off with in the story, including King's Court, and it would later introduce the map Tower Forge, which you will see after these recordings. Note that this will also unlock the other maps um, before Tower Forge, like um, Tower Light Spire, Light, as you can see, Mirage, and um, Thornwood. Now that I showed you how to unlock Tower Forge, I'll show you how to unlock the next map. To get the map Sunken City, you want to go into Versus, put in another controller or maybe a friend, and then keep on clicking random. This is the only way you could get the map, and out of nowhere, the map will show up eventually, and you'll see it pop up. To unlock Moonstone, you are going to want to play each map, including Secret Grounds, to King's Court only, those maps. Um, at least do the rounds in them twice. So each map you do, there are, what I'm doing, you see like 10 rounds. You just want to do 2 rounds of each match. Then you want to go back to um, Sacred Grounds, and when you go there, when the, with the map where you see the moon, you're gonna see it explode, as you see right now. Well, later now. To get the last map, which is known as Ascension, you are of course going to want these three maps, Moonstone, Sunken City, and Tower Forge. If you do have those, you're going to want to follow me, go to Archives, go all the way to the right, where you're going to see Ascension, and input this code, which is, as I'm going to tell you, right, up, left, right, right, down, down, up, down. This will unlock the end game map, which might spoil it for some of you. And, and you'll see right now. Noting that if you do complete this map and every map, you would unlock the gauntlet, but I didn't get a recording of it. And just to let you know right now. To play this map in story mode, you would have to complete every map on normal mode. I did it on my other account, but not on this one. Now that I covered all the maps, I'm going to show you how to get every character, starting with the Vicious Vessel. Hey guys, so to get the Vicious Vessel, one of you guys have to be Last of the Order, while the other one has to be Turn Float Soldier. Then you're going to want to do any game mode. I prefer the last map. And then do Twilight Spire. One of the rounds, um, enemies will start spawning. And if they don't start spawning, then just kill the other person. There's 
no enemy spawned, I didn't continue. And yeah. They're gonna spawn eventually, and it doesn't happen on the first try. Because I restarted this recording like five times because it never happened. But don't worry, you'll get it. And just as I said before, a lot of these characters slash maps are frustrating. Note that if you die, um, you won't be respawned and you'd have to restart everything. Since, cause I would continue this and when I got up to it, me and my partner died and we had to restart everything and it made it even more frustrating. So, make sure you and your partner don't die. And I said it again. I mean, I just To unlock the Ancient Exile, you're gonna wanna go into Versus, pick any game mode, and do Moonstone. Then, one of the rounds you'll find has a purple gem in the middle. That is the Ancient Exile. It has human carvings in it, and you're gonna wanna shoot it. Make sure you don't die or shoot your partner. And also, yeah. So, as you see right now, we're shooting it, and then it comes out, and then it just kills him right there. And there you go, and have it. To unlock the next character, which is the Prancing Puppet, you're gonna want to do Sun King City and Defeat It. He's gonna be the last enemy, and yeah. I couldn't get a recording of it, because I forgot to record, but I got the enemy. And once you defeat him, you'll just see him right when you go back to the main. To unlock the Forgotten Master, you're going to want to go into Trials, and you're going to follow all the places I went to. There are gonna be seven yellow triangles, and you're gonna put all of these to the place where it's Tower Forge, which I'll show you in, later in the video. And this will awaken him.
This is where you're waking it. You just want to like stand next to him. And once you have all seven triangles, he'll awaken. But then you'll just go back to sleep. But when you go back to the menu, you'll see he's there. And that is every character in Towerfall Ascension, the normal version. Now I'll show you all the maps. Well, there's only one character in Towerfall. To unlock the next map and the secret map, the Dark Gauntlet, same thing as what you do in Towerfall Ascension, like the normal story. You just want to complete every map, and that's how you will get it. I'll try to record